pre-framing a conversation is better than reframing a conversation. So if you don't know what I mean, when you go into a conversation, if you don't understand your outcome of the conversation, you're not going to get what you want because you don't know what you want, right? Simple. So when I call up a client who hasn't had an appointment for a long time, if your mindset prior to the call is about, I'm checking in with them, well, then why are you expecting to book them in? Because you're checking in, right? Makes no sense. Two very different outcomes. So if your conversation, because you should have the previous notes, you should know exactly what your clients are up to, even if they're falling off your books, and you go, no, I know that Garth needs this appointment. Because I know that when I used to see Garth, he used to be amazing, he used to feel amazing. I know that because he hasn't seen me in six months, he's probably got his headaches back. Now, when I know all these things, can you imagine the kind of certainty, clarity, and confidence that I would have that conversation with Garth on? Compared to, hey Garth, you haven't been in for six months. Like, I just wanted to check in to see how you're going. Of course, he's gonna say I'm going great. Let's say my dentist calls up, trust me, no matter what's going on, if my dentist ever called me up, I'd say, yeah, I'm doing good. Because I hate my dentist, right? Like teeth and eye, I just can't do it. So um, don't ask how they are. I would just say, you know, hey Garth, it's Delcy here from, you know, Functional Health. That used to be my practice. It's Delcy here from Functional Health. I wanted to, um, I wanted to give you a call because I realized that you haven't actually been a part of our books in almost six months. And I remember that when you first came in, you were suffering from, you know, daily headaches. And when when you left, we got to a point where not only you didn't have any headaches but you had this and these benefits basically. I'd just have a brief spiel and I would say, so my only concern is that over time with stress, I wonder how your productivity levels are at the moment. I wonder how much stress you're still able to cope with. And I wonder whether some of these headaches are starting to creep back. Have you started feeling a bit of a heaviness around the neck and the, the head area? Do you see how I pre-framed it where I'm getting him to focus on the problem, which I know the problem exists. And he goes, well, actually, yeah, I have been feeling it. Yeah, when was the last time you had a headache? Well, I actually had it two days ago. How long did it last for? Uh, well, it actually lasted the whole day and I had to take a few Panadols. Oh my gosh, you know, I remember then when we did our first assessment, all of that had gone away. So what about this? I know that you used to prefer a Wednesday at 6 p.m. Assuming that's still true, I've got a space available for next week, Wednesday at 6 p.m. I can pop you in. We can do um, you know, I can adjust you, but I can also do a bit of reassessment to see if there's anything else going on and then see how that's going for you. So can you make it? Not only did I go through the pain point, but I literally made him feel like I know him in and out. You know, he had no escape either. <laughs> I even knew the day and the time that he loved. I knew everything about him. So he didn't have to think. All he had to say was yes. And it's the yes formula, right? Because throughout the time, every time I said something, he agreed with me. He agreed that he was feeling good when he saw me. He agreed that now his pain is back. He agreed, he agreed, he agreed to the point where I said, so let's book you in. And he goes, okay. So I don't ask people how they're feeling because I'm just going to get a, a, an automatic answer. And then their brain is not switched on. They're in auto mode. And now I can't really pre-frame, nor can I get them to see anything. So maybe if you don't want to jump straight into it, and sometimes you can't with certain people, I just basically say, you know, um, hey, Garth, uh, it's Delcy here from Functional Health. Do you remember me? And then I and then I kind of jump into that conversation. It's a transition <laughs> period. Or I say, um, or I say, hey, Garth, this is Delcy from Functional Health. I just, um, I gave you a call to, to talk about something, but before I get into it, I just wanted to know how is, um, how is Cassie doing your daughter? And he goes, oh, wow, she didn't remember my daughter, right? Something to just still keep them engaged and connected to me. 